Welcome guys, I'm here on the new PUBG map Destin and I have the new O12 slug shotgun and today I'm going to do a damage test. This means that this is not going to be a how to use this weapon. It's not going to be a weapon guide per se. We're going to test the damage because a brand new shotgun, shotguns are powerful in PUBG. This is a slug shotgun. So what we're going to be doing here is that we're going to be testing the damage on a target that is close to us, that's within 10 meters. And we're going to see the headshot damage on the various helmets. And we're going to see the body shot damage as well. We're going to test not only the single fire with the headshots. We're going to try the burst mode. And this is going to be like our benchmark, a burst mode to the chest. How much damage will this do like in the in the body chest region? And uh, finally, uh, we're going to be testing the range for this as well. So we're going to do a test on 100 meters and I'm going to narrow down what I do believe is like the maximum range where you want to use this uh, for the sake of having a decent amount of damage and not too much damage fall off as well. The first test will be against our helpless target right here that uh, is ready to take the pain. We're going to do a headshot against a uh, non-armored target. And this is an insta-kill. The damage here is about 149.9, so about 150 damage. So this is well above what you need to kill a, a target at this range. And now the player is healed up again. We're going to try this with a full set of level 1. This will also kill the player. And uh, the damage here is pretty high because you do 101 damage on a uh, headshot with an O12 slug shotgun on this range. So again, a lethal shot up close. And now let's test the damage to a level 2 helmet. A level 2 helmet will take 90 damage. So that means it doesn't matter where the other bullet will go. Of course, level 2 is the most frequent one. So this is the kind of situation you're most likely to be in. Taking a headshot with a level 2 helmet means that you're going to die in two hits if one of them, well, is a headshot to the face. It could be in the in the, in the the leg or in the foot. It doesn't really matter because everything else uh, will do more than, than these 10 damage here. So, yeah. And now let's try this against a level 3 helmet. A level 3 helmet takes about 67 damage uh, with a headshot. That means it's a two-shot. If one of those bullets is in the head, any other shot in the body will result in a kill unless you hit the hand or the foot. So if I shoot in the hand right here, you're going to see that the player is just barely dead. Like, it's so close to being dead. So for the most part, this is going to be a two-shot. And now to what I see as the most interesting thing with this weapon, the burst mode. The burst mode is definitely possible to use at close quarters, especially a range like this. And what kind of damage do you do if you plant those three shots around the center body of the enemy? So against a non-armored target like this, it's just a straight up kill. A fast and quick death right there. A single bullet does about 90 damage. So you need essentially two shots to kill a player up close with the burst mode that fires three bullets. Against a level one geared player, a single burst will instantly kill the player. Again here, you only really need two hits to kill. The damage is so high that you can even miss one of these shots and you still get the kill. Against a level two geared player, again, one burst is a kill. Level two, like I said, it's the most frequent armor that people will use. So uh, it's very lethal to have a weapon that can fire a single burst and kill just by shooting the center body area. And the player with a level 2 vest here will only require two hits to kill. So again, you can miss a bullet and then still kill the target. And finally, let's try the test against the strongest armor in the game, the level 3 vest. Here again, a burst is completely lethal. It will, however, require all the three shots to hit to get the kill. But still, this is very, very powerful. And also one thing to note with this test is that I'm just using a single burst. Now imagine if you come at a player in full auto. <laughs> and with that recoil, okay, yeah, you're going to miss shots. But still, only three needs to hit against a level three gear player. And only two needs to hit against a level two gear player. So you're going to be wiping out an entire squad if they're just somewhat close to you. Assuming that you can kill them in time. And finally, let's do a range test on this. We're at 100 meters of the target. And unfortunately, I'm not going to be able to scope in here. This is as close as I can get because the gun does not take any scopes. 
And that's kind of weird since it is a slug shotgun that fires a single bullet rather than spreading out nine pellets like the other shotguns. And the DBS and S12K both will take a 6x. So I guess this is for balancing purposes, but still feels a little bit weird. So I'm going to try to hit a headshot that was completely lethal before. Remember, it did about 150 damage. So from just 100 meters, will I still be able to get a headshot at one kill against a non-armored player? No, I will not. I am now only doing 93 damage. So there is a massive damage fall off over distance. Clearly, PUBG don't want you to snipe with this. No scopes and a massive damage fall off. However, yeah, you can do a pretty decent amount of damage like this. So let's try to do a more realistic damage test. Let's try to see what happens if I shoot around the center body on a level two gear player at about 100 meters, which again, I feel like this is about the maximum distance you want to use. Like, look how hard it is to just see the target here. All right, so we got a three shot kill here at this range, which is really not too bad. Three hits to kill a player with level two gear at 100 meters with a slug shotgun. If you hit the center body, of course, otherwise that might go up to four. So, of course, that is kind of strong if you think about this being a shotgun. But then again, at this range, you would probably just want to use something else like a DMR and it would be much easier to hit. Just look at all the recoil. If I were to shoot just a little bit fast, like you could easily do with a DMR. So the max range you would use the shotgun would probably be around the 40 meter mark. We're about one, we're about 40 meters, as you can see right here on the uh, on the spotter scope. So, you know, this right here is still a three shot kill. And oh man, it's going to be tough to do a burst mode here. A burst mode at 40 meters is extremely hard. Just Did you see that? I was pulling down my mouse and yet my crosser ended all the way to the right. So let's just try this one more time. Now, again, I only hit two of these uh, three shots there. It's simply too difficult. Now, so having done this damage test, I think I want to say that this weapon, based on the damage, is burst mode, sure, full auto, sure, but you got to be really close to your enemies. And that's going to be a lot of fun. If you rush a building with this in full auto or, or use burst mode within like 10, 20 meters, maybe, that's going to be absolutely super fun. Uh, there's probably going to be better weapons to kill people with. Like a DPS would be a one shot. And this would require you to control your gun, even if you are like, let's say, 10-ish meters away. The conclusion on this damage test is that this weapon, the new O12 slug shotgun, it's strong, it hits hard, but I don't see it being OP. It requires you to control the weapon to land that damage right there. Uh, instead of a shotgun that just takes one shot that you don't really need to control anything with, you just kind of fire and you get your kill. So it's a fun weapon, but the damage is, is not extreme in any way. If you like this video and you found it helpful, please consider using my creator code on your PUBG account. There is a season pass coming out right now you can get really cool skins from that season pass. Just look at this outfit right here. This is a outfit you get in the season pass, the post-apocalyptic look. This has a really nice feel to it, I think. And by using my creator code, a portion of the money you spend on Gcoin will go to me rather than PUBG. So I really hope you want to consider doing that. It helps me a lot. Thank you for watching the video and I'll see you guys next time.